Hey guys, today we're going to build a nice timer in Microsoft PowerPoint. We're just going to use animation, so don't need to install any plugins or third-party extensions. As you can see, I'm here in PowerPoint. I don't need any fancy template for this one. Let's change the layout to blank. I'm going to insert a shape and that will be our base for this timer. I'm using this rectangle with rounded corners, just like that. All right, I don't want outline. Then we can select a fill color. You can even click more fill colors to open this uh, column spectrum when you can select color you like from this color wheel. All right, something like this will do and now i'm going to double click on it and type a text so i will type tr three and select that i want to make this way larger all right and if you like you can also play with uh, fancy fonts if you install any of those interesting fonts in your system you can feel free to use them i will keep it simple right now because i'm going to share this template with you there will be a link in the description so you can download this for free that's why i don't want to use any fancy font this way whatever system you use you will be able to open this without any troubles all right that's my shape with number three now i'm going to add animation to it we want to add exit animation, that's the red one. And that will be a wheel. All right, that's what I want, but I want this to happen slowly. So it will take a whole minute. All right, so we change this to 59 seconds. And now it will take one minute for this to disappear. That's what I want. All right, let's also duplicate this whole thing. So comment C, comment V. And for this one, I will put number two. I'm going to change a color slightly. All right. And then I'm going to duplicate this once more. And again, I will change the color slightly. And that will be number one. I need to inverse the order here. I want number three to be at the top so I can click bring forward. All right. And for number one, I will send backwards like that. And now we want to put them on the top of each other. So we want to put them in my case, I will put them in the center of the slide, but if you got the content on the slide, you can put them on the side. All right, just like this. If I head to my animation tab, I can check that I got three items and it will take 59 seconds to disappear. The first one, number three, will start on the click, that's correct. All right, so that's good. And let's see the timing. Its duration is 59 seconds and delay will be one second. As you can guess, that will be one minute in total. For the next one, number two, I want to trigger this after previous. So after one minute. And again, we got 59 seconds for duration and delay will be one second. And number one, after previous. And again, one second delay. And as you may guess, if I turn on this slideshow, it will take one minute for each shape. I got three shapes, so in total, three minutes. If I create five shapes, I got five minutes, 10 shapes, 10 minutes, all right? So let's give it a go. All right, as you can see, I got this slide. I click once. And now this one start slowly disappearing from the top. It will take one minute 
for the first shape to disappear. All right. So we got three shapes, three minutes in total. It's very, very easy to set up this kind of timer because after we create a fed shape, now we can just duplicate that. Don't forget to reorder them correctly so the highest number is at the top. And also we can play with colors. We can make the colors even totally different. I just change the brightness so it's a bit darker and darker. As you can see, my first shape is almost gone. And we will see number two. Number two indicating we got two minutes left. I love to use this kind of timer during my break time. So I got like slide for the break time with 10 or 15 minutes. And you can see those minutes in form of disappearing shapes like this one. Now the second shape is slowly disappearing. It will take exactly one minute for it to disappear. And then we will see the last shape with number one. All right, so let's wait for it. Let's check that everything's fine here. And like always, I will drop a link in the description below. So feel free to follow the link. You can download this PowerPoint template and use it as you please for private and also for personal commercial use as well. All right, take a look. The second shape is almost gone. All right. And then the last shape should start disappearing in the similar manner. So let's see it now. As you can see, we got number one. So one minute left. And this one minute left is disappearing now. And there's nothing under. So we can see white color. Perfect. Exactly the result I want. Very simple, very effective timer. You can change the size. You can make more of them. So let me duplicate this slide. And on the next slide, I will create for you additional version with five minutes. I know that's a very common request. So let me just do it right now. All right. So we need five minutes. This will be number four. And this will be number five. Let's play with colors a little bit more this time. All right, so we got five shapes. Each shape will disappear in 59 seconds plus one second delay. That's give us five. Let's put them on the exactly same spot. And there'll be one more thing we need to check out. All right, we got one, two, three, and now we add two more shapes. So we got four and five. So actually the four need to happen before three and five will be the first one. So the five is on click at the top. Then we got four below that and four will happen after previous. Three will happen after previous. All right. And this way we modify this timer from three to five minutes. Let's put it in the same location and number five at the top. And let's try this one. We will not wait to the end, but we can see that. All right. Number five is the first one to disappear. So that's exactly what we want. All right. Here it is. That's how you can create this simple yet effective timer directly inside PowerPoint. You can download the template. The link is in the description for more interactive games, timers and elements for your presentation. Please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I post a next template. All right. Thank you for today and see you next time.